Generic greetings! Raft is a survival game where you are unsurprisingly on a raft in the middle of an ocean and you have to survive by collecting pieces of floating driftwood and fishing and avoid being eaten by a shark that you can see swimming around. It's actually a free game at the moment, it's a prototype, so links in the description so you can check it out yourself and pretty much go and get it and download it. I probably would recommend you give it a go because I was presently surprised. Someone linked me this and said, hey, you might want to give it a go, it's a survival game, and uh, I turned off immediately once I had survival, but you know what, I thought I'll, I'll, I'll give to go it is free after all and you know what I think it's got some legs here it is after all a prototype though so obviously there's going to be a bare bone stuff here problems with it bugs etc etc but um, for most survival games which are in a constant state of development and are generally bug ridden messes this is actually quite okay so you know is a uh, not really it's 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 unlike most survival games in in the fact that it's actually quite fun and playable you know which is well it just against my general experience with survival games. Anyway, we have a couple of statistics on the bottom right. We have thirst, hunger, and health, I would guess. We are currently on a raft, which consists of four cargo pallets, and we have a shark that's swimming around us, and eventually, or now and again, it will come in and start biting on these things, and obviously we have to defend ourselves. The only way to survive is to collect things that come from this. So, well, we're essentially in the middle of the ocean, right? We can't really see the end. I have a feeling, however, that if we go that way, we'd probably fall off the map, because it's like a it's probably just a flat plane and then these things sort of come towards us. Now, what you have to do is collect driftwood and you have this um, sort of hook thing and you can fling it with various powers and stuff. And I'm going to go and fling it over there. And what you do is you collect driftwood, you collect uh, tin cans, you collect pretty much all sorts, anything that floats by, you will collect. Barrels consist of several things. You can also pick it up if they get close like that and you can grab it. Let's just fling it over there and then pull this back. You do have to get uh, quite accurate sometimes with this. Uh, obviously, there's no point really in fishing forward because it is going to come towards you. It doesn't come from that way or the other ways, it just comes from one way. Obviously, this is still in development, so I'm guessing eventually there will be things, I would guess, along the lines of like... Um, different currents and whatnot and stuff like that where where the where the actual um flotsam will come in from different directions but anyway let's just collect this stuff here look at that pathetic throw it's like Ugh! Oh god, I can't fling it very far. So let's collect them, and there we go, we've got enough stuff. So you can see on the bottom, we've got some items. We can press a tab, and we can go onto a build menu, and you can build things like, well, for example, a building hammer, and we will craft that, and then switch to it. And that allows us to make things like foundations. You can also hold right-click, and you can build things like pillars, and uh, walls, and floors, and stuff like that. But let's just go over to uh, the... U foundation. Hang on, it's quite difficult to select sometimes. Uh, we want to go back and just select all, pick, pick all this up. You can actually jump in the water, there's no problem there. You can swim around. All oh, the problem actually is coming towards us because it's a shark. Get in the water, get there we go, because we don't want to be eaten. I've never been eaten by the shark yet, but to be fair, I haven't spent much time in the water. You have a fatigue uh, level, and uh, that will go up as you essentially uh, swim around the water, and I'm guessing it's uh, not good for you if you stick about. Anyway, what I'm going to do is press tab, go over to this t uh, button here. There's like a couple of different uh, tabs and options. I'm guessing this one, hang on, let me just stop talking and collect all of these because we don't want it to go past. You picked up diff bits of scrap and stuff, and scrap is like, you've got diff just diff different resources, as I've mentioned. So this is like your building tab, this is your sort of uh, survival shelter tab, and this is your assorted items. So we need to create some rope, and we'll craft loads of rope from this um, thatch that we've got. Let me just pick up these bits of wood here and the ones you really I mean you don't really doesn't really matter missing those bits out but barrels you really don't want to miss and now that we've done that we should be able to then build yes we can actually build some more foundations I find making it wider is generally the way to go because it means you can then sort of come over this side and collect these items better than say oh god the shark's coming yeah that was close yeah it, it, I think it's better making it wider than longer because obviously it's coming this way so the, the wider you make it the uh, easier it is to collect stuff right where is where is shark sharks over there jaws to the jawsing is over there and we'll collect them items fatigue 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 of the sharks coming towards us uh, suck it shark right okay so we'll fling this uh, by the way this doesn't damage the, the shark as far as I can tell but what will damage us and what will kill us eventually is a dehydration and starvation. So obviously that's something we want to avoid. So in order to do that, I would recommend we we probably go for I don't know. Let's, I'm trying to get this barrel. Uh, by the way, this hook acts more like a I wouldn't I wouldn't class it as more like a hook. It's more like a magnet for anything because it will pull multiple items. Essentially, if it if you pull things towards it, it will gather them all. So that's uh, interesting. 
you know, that's that's worthy of note. So you can see there's several items here. I've pulled them all towards me, and we're going to collect that up. Right, so we're going to press tab. We're going to go to uh, this middle button, and we're going to say probably a water purifier. We need one rope so we can create... So we'll just create several ropes. There we go. One water purifier and one grill, and we'll build both of those, and the shark's coming. Okay, let's just put the water purifier there, and we'll put the... Uh, let's press tab. We'll go to this bit here. This is where your inventory is, and we'll put our... Um, I like the way you give a thumbs up when you've built it. That's pretty cool. Uh, like I said, there's some detail in the game. It's uh, it's interesting just how playable this is, even though it's early on. That shark's coming towards me. It's going to start biting, isn't it? Uh, yep, it's starting to bite me. Okay, well, not me, but it's biting my raft, which is never a good thing, but hey-ho. Uh, let's just sort of ignore it for a bit, because it's not there. Just, just out of sight, out of mind and all that. We'll just walk away. <laughs> And you can see what it's done is just taking a hole out of it. I'll just rebuild that. There we go. Can I get this bit? I'm going to be quick and off and hoot. Yes, got it. Okay, so there's that. And we've got a couple of more bits of driftwood here. They will just flow through this. Obviously, I'm guessing later on it might damage you and you might have to collect collectors and stuff. Right, so we want to make a empty tin can. We'll craft that. And the reason for that is because we can pick up water and then we can dump it in here. And what that does is cook with an unknown amount of fuel. We don't even know what's in there. But it's essentially just boiling the water. And that obviously will uh, get... It'll sort of boil out of there, condense on that little... Uh, bit up the top and then go down and then you'll actually get fresh water in that. I don't know about the logistics of setting fire to a metal bin while on a wooden raft. I imagine there'll be some charring going on but anyway what we will have a problem with is yeah you can hear now we're starting to cough because uh, essentially we're spitting feathers it's like we're really really thirsty but we should be able to now pick up that drinking water and then neck it. There we go. That's fine. So we're just going to keep doing that because we need to get that sorted. Let's worry about now some, I think we need to get some fishing doing. So let's just craft a couple bits of rope. There we go. We'll get a fishing rod, craft that, and then we will same thing, fling it in. And then what you do is wait. It's like Warcraft, World of Warcraft fishing. You wait until it bobs down and then you left click and push. We will get a raw mackerel. There it is. Excellent. And we can put raw mackerel on the barbie. No, no, what, we, what, what we've actually done is eaten said mackerel, which is never a good thing. I don't know if you, um, I don't think you get ill from eating raw food. Again, it is like in early stages, so you know you have to accept that. Now, let me just drink that, and then we'll put that back on the fire. There we go, and we'll collect some more of this stuff. And I want that piece, I want that piece, I want that piece. Yes. Okay, so uh, we'll just fling our hook over there, and then grab that one, grab that one. There we go. As I said, it's more like a magnet than anything else. I mean, a magnet that works on wood. Maybe there's, I don't know, some sort of... There's some nails or something in there that it connects to. Right, so we are cooking mackerel. We are distilling water. We are all good. Apart from we're still in the middle of the ocean, and it's not good. Uh, we'll drink the, get the water, neck that, and then just keep doing it. There's no reason to not, not do that. You can just keep going and going and going, so that's fine. I think I want to go over to... Oh, we've got a mackerel now. So we'll pick up cooked mackerel, and then we will nosh it. Mmm, tasty mackerel. Lovely, lovely. Nice, fresh food. Right, so let's uh, get a little bit more mackerel. We'll fling that out there. And what we probably want to do as well is get a spear just to try, sort of stop the... Damn it, I keep eating the mackerel. For some reason, it's uh, <laughs> left-click to eat the mackerel, but... Uh, yeah, it's eat. It actually put it on the barbie, which is... Something you should be aware of. And, ooh, got another mackerel. And we'll just see if we can catch another mackerel. I don't want to catch Jaws too, the Jawsing. I don't think we really want that at all. Let's just pull that out there. Right, so we've got, what's that? Ooh, palm seeds. We've got some seeds. Excellent. Seeds can be used to, ooh, and we've also got, apparently, right, let's put that on there. We will put that there. We will drink water, pick up water, put it on there and start cooking it. Right. So, we have a raft which is, what, two by, f two by four. It's a two by four raft. We have cooking facilities and water purification facilities. What else can we make? Well, we've got things like a crop lot, which is pl uh, pl put a place to put your seeds. So we can place that around. So we'll probably put it... Uh, actually, we'll probably expand this place because it's getting a little... It's a little small, isn't it? So we'll probably go for some... Rope, and we'll create some rope, and we'll want to... Ah, we can't make any more. Right, so we'll just have to wait until a barrel or something comes along. I don't know what sort of, like, shipwreck is uh, is over there. I mean, there must be a... Oh, God, quite in between the two planks. I don't know what sort of things head, like, has been over there, but it's... um, Whatever it is, it's not... 
There's not much left of it because it just keeps floating by. There we go. That's a shark coming towards us. Okay, I'm going to show you how to make a spear. Uh, I need to quickly make a rope and then make a spear. I don't have enough. I can't make the spear and I'm probably going to lose my distilling. Yes, I lost my distilling. Damn it. Okay, well, I'll build that one there and then I'll have to build another one of those. That's going to be an issue because I think I might have lost most of my scrap on that one. Hang on. Uh, can we make another one? No, we need more. We need more of these like palm frond type things. And we'll pick these up, pick all that up, get back out. And that should do us. We can't drink, or maybe we can drink this water. I wouldn't recommend drinking seawater. It's um, historically not been good for one's hydration. Let's go and put that... Uh, probably... I'm going to reorganise some of this stuff, like some of the tools that are in the right area. And there we go. Right, the shark's coming back. Go away. There we go. So we'll pick up the mackerel. We'll have a nosh on mackerel. Job done. And collect more. Okay, so we want to probably build, I probably want to build a, a bit all the way around it, so like we've got like a blade of sections, so if the shark wants to have a bit of a, a feed, then it can without me losing a lot of my facilities on board. Facilities. <laughs> facilities, he says. Look what I've got. I've got um that, that, and a shark. <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear. Right, so we could probably go for another bit of rope, and fine, we've got that there. As I said, you can make things like stairs. Hang on, it's really difficult to use this. There's your wall section, and again, you can rotate it round. There you go. Oh, sorry, that's a, that's a wall. You've got a pillar. You've got... Why is it really difficult to select? Look at that, it's all over the place. Stairs. There you go, stairs can go up. Um, or they go down, depending on where you are at the current time. Let me just fling this over here. We'll put a bit of lead on it. And I missed the bit I wanted to get. But we might be able to get it. I think we'll be able to get it. Yeah, I think we'll get both of those. And what I'll do is I'll pull it forward a bit. And we should be able to get both of those as well. Yeah, there we go. Look. What a nice haul. Very, very good. And I really wanted to jump in the water to just collect those quite easily. But uh, no, not with Sharky about. No, no, no. We haven't got a barrel in quite some time, which is a little bit annoying, because the barrels, as I said, are really, really cool, because they get pretty much everything in there. And there we go. Right, so, we now probably want to place this box here. This is a, like a grow box type thing, and I believe you can plant seeds in it. Uh, can you plant seeds in it? See, I've never used one of these grow boxes, but I assume you can. Maybe you have to put water in it. Hmm, I necked it. <laughs> I've never used these grow boxes. What does it say on the grow box? Place to pl uh, A place to plant your seeds. Palm seeds. Uh, oh, palm. Right, so I probably need a, a tree one. Okay, hang on. Can I make a tree one? I can. I've also got an item net, which I should probably craft an item net and just let it uh, go that way. And let it capture the items itself, because it would be a lot easier, wouldn't it, instead of me having to do it manually. Collect that. Collect that. Right. Can't create an item net. You need three rope. I think there was something just went underneath us, did it? Did it? I might have done. I might have collected it. Right, so water's fine. We will pick up water. Shove it down there. And do a bit more cooking, I think. Cool. I managed to hit that. And you can... The good thing is you can pick this stuff up while you're fishing as well. Oh, and there we go. Another mackerel. Excellent. Let's remember to cook it and not just eat it. I still haven't got the spear that I wanted. There we go. I've now got a spear. And you can sort of jab. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Get away. <laughs> if that thing comes back. Obviously, it's something you don't want to... Shark trying to eat you and your home. Because this is my home, permanently, because we, we we really can't get off it. Although, as I said, if we go in one direction, I reckon we'll reach the end of the map eventually. Because it's not as if we're floating on the water. <laughs> There's a distinctive bit of fog of war all the way around, so, yes. Anyway, this is coming towards us, and... Right, you little git, get off. Get off. Get off. Get off. Thank you very much. Right, we can actually repair this, I believe. Uh, Repair... I, I would like to select repair, but it just takes so long. 
There we go, we've repaired it. Excellent, okay. So collect these, collect all this. You can collect stuff when it floats underneath you, so that's quite easy. We'll pick up the mackerel, pick up the drinking water again. I mean, for some reason, it's you, are, you do eat and drink a lot. Like, <laughs> a lot of your time is sort of subsistence living. It's really just trying to keep yourself alive, which, to be fair, I, I understand that it's a survival game and you are on a raft and such, but uh, still, the amount of mackerel we've... Like, how many, how many mackerel have we ate so far? I'm not just I'm not counting just cooked as well. I'm on about raw. I think we've probably had about maybe five mackerel in total. I mean, I know they're not that filling mackerel, but still. But still. You know, you'd expect it to be uh, <laughs> a bit um, more filling than that. And we're not exactly doing hard physical labour. We're, we're just sort of... Actually, no, we probably are doing hard physical labour. And we've got nothing above us to stop us, like, getting dehydrated. To stop us... Um, being in, in, in the sun, we need some sort of shade. We could do that, we could build something to go around the outside. Although I don't like to build something around the outside, uh, like, like a wall or anything, unless we can get to the right outside, because then the shark, if, if we put a wall along here, for example, and the shark comes in, it's very difficult to hit it. So it's probably best to uh, leave it for now. Anyway, let's go for a... I think a, some sort of net would be good. Let's just create a couple more bits of ropage. A couple more ropages. And we'll create one, two... Oh, we can only create the one. Connect all this. A bit of scrap. And we will put our item catcher on here. There we go. And anything that comes there, hopefully it will collect. Excellent. Right. Uh, we'll collect the fish. Drink water. Put the seeds back. There's a bit of inventory management, which is uh, something you always get with these games. Can we catch that? I really do need rope. Yeah, I got it. Excellent. Oh, we've got a barrel coming in as well. And I really want all these planks. One, two, three. And we might be able to get the other ones if we fling it far enough. Pull it back. And one, two. Yes! Excellent. This has... It's an empty net, but is this going to get it? No, the barrel's going to go straight past. That's a shame. Almost got the barrel. Almost got it. Almost got it. Okay, back over to uh, creation and we'll build some more rope. We'll go for another net, which we can craft, and we will then put that here. And then hopefully it will collect that. Yes, it has collected it. Excellent. And this has done it as well, look. So it just stops it and you go over and you, and you pick it up like that. Excellent. This is most good. So we're now getting to a point where we're, we're into the automation territory. <laughs> will this collect the plank? Yes, it does. And it makes actually a clunk noise, so you know it's there. So there's been thought about it, you know, it's it's not just, oh, you, you don't know it's there, they've actually got sounds there to notify you. As I said, the game, even though it's quite early on in development, I reckon, I reckon it'll have some legs on it, this, because the moment-to-moment -moment actual play is, is quite good. It's quite fun flinging this and, you know, actually trying to gauge it and stuff like that. Um, I'm not a big fan of, you know, the running around and drinking water constantly, I just think that's a bit meh, but it's, it's, it's a staple of survival games, I guess. But, um... I, imagine, I can imagine with things like weather effects, uh, you know, like it's really hot and you have to get under shade or it's raining, you need to get out of it because your temperature's going down and stuff like that. And I can imagine that being, you know, quite good. I can imagine that, uh, if it, you know, expanding on it, I reckon that'd be quite cool. Anyway, so we've got some more little fronds here. Let's see if we can make one of these and get a palm in. We could build an upstairs. That would be that would be very, very good to do. But you know what? Maybe it's a bit beyond the scope of this little uh, preview, I think. <laughs> I don't think uh, building an upstairs and everything else would be um, great. Well, it would be great, but I don't, think, I don't know if we have the time. Let's just keep doing what we're doing. We'll see how it goes. That guy's coming straight towards me, and I don't like it. Get away, 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 go away. Right, sort it. We fix the issue by stabbing it. And that barrel is going to miss us. What I'm going to do is fling it straight past. See if we can get that bit of debris. Pull that in. There we go. And look at all the stuff. Raw potatoes as well. Ooh, raw potatoes. Does that mean we can plant it? We can plant it. Um. There we go. We've planted some raw potatoes. We now get some potato plants. Excellent. Um, it doesn't look like you have to water the plants. There we go. Um, collect some of this stuff here, because it's all around. We will probably create a, well, some more rope. There we go. And then hopefully we'll be able to make a tree. 
pot. Oh my god, that's quite large. Right, let's just repair this because this is where the shark came in before. And then we'll build another bit of foundation. And there's three bit of foundation. And then we'll put this in here. And we should be able to hopefully build, yes, a big tree. <laughs> Eventually that will grow and we'll be able to get, well, whatever off it. I'm guessing we'll be able to harvest uh, palm fronds and stuff like that. Will I be able to get these ones? Yes, yes I will. Excellent. Obviously, it'd be nice to see some more tools, but as a proof of concept, it's it's not bad at all. It's actually better than a lot of survival games, which have been on probably Steam Early Access for several hundred years, it feels like. Let's collect that. Oop. I wonder if we can go down. Where is the shark? Over there. Can we go down? Doesn't look like you can. I wonder if we get some sort of swimming gear as well. Pull this in. Damn it, missed the barrel. How would you miss that barrel? I don't know why, but I keep getting flashbacks to um, The Curse of Monkey Island where the game starts and you have um, Guybrush sitting there on an old Dodgem car. Is it a Dodgem car? It's, um... It's, I can't remember what it is. Is it a Dodgem car? Oh, look, the tree's growing. And the potatoes are growing. Excellent. Well, like the Martian, but in a desert of water. A water desert. I think that's what the sailors used to call um, the sea. Like the, the wet desert or something like that. Basically, the, I can't remember what the, the term was, but the, the whole idea is that, you know, there was... It, it was like, not unlike a desert because there's nothing to drink. You know, it was full of water, but you couldn't drink it. You know, it, it had... Seawater has too much salt in it. You know, you would, be, you would dehydrate faster. You would use more water. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, we've got a tree growing, which grows quite quick. We've got taties. We've got these sort of nets to capture stuff, which is fantastic. We can probably make... Oh, we can't make one more. What else can we make? We've got um, a chest to store items. We've got all of these made. Actually, no, we haven't got an axe. Um... Axe used to chop down trees on the raft itself. Also, we can chop down that tree, I'm guessing. We've also got, oh, I guess, just general building. We can build further up and along. The thing is, we need rope. That's the problem. It's rope that's uh, giving us the the big issue here. I don't know if there's anywhere to create it. I'm guessing, let's like, say, that the tree might give us something. Let's collect all these planks. These are collecting in there. We should be able to now make a little bit more rope. No, we can't make any more rope. Pick up the water. Pick up the fish. Put these back in, stack these. We're starting to get a point now where we've actually got so much wood. It's uh, quite insane. There we go. We've got to a point where we really just don't need any more, any more plankage, do we? Look at that. That's growing there. So that'll have some edibles. And we'll be able to chop it down. Use the wood. Use the palm fronds. Use the lot. That's getting close. <laughs> Just want to chase after it. I don't think jumping in the water and chasing after it would be a fantastic idea. Let's just catch him more mackerel and stuff. Oh. He's getting a bit feisty, are you? Stab, 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 stab. And he goes away. Don't know if you can kill that thing. I don't think you can. I would assume it's more of a... Like a... An annoyance to you. Like, it's a, it's, just, it's, it's a constant threat. Good job we have a big raft, right? And all this stuff's floating into it. Oh, hang on. We're going to miss half of this. Let's just fling it further forward and pull back. We'll get two of them at least. I think oh, I'm going to get that third one. Dead on. There we go. Perfect. Another barrel coming in. It'll be nice if you were fishing you got, like, uh, random chests and other loot like that. Maybe that'll be something added later. As I said, this is still... Very early on in development. Pick up a barrel. Raw taties again. We can now harvest taties. Which is good. Uh, we've now got more raw... we got more raw taties. And we're going to plant them. There we go. And now we're going to cook raw... We're going to cook the taties. Because you can. Cook some potatoes. Excellent. Pick up planks. Uh, let's be a bit brave. Pick up that one. That one. And that quickly get out of the water... There we go. You can see the fatigue level on the top there. So, we're going to have a baked potato, which is nice. That tree is growing very, very tall, 
That's good. We should be able to get some stuff here and lob it. Do a bit of leading ahead of it. Grab one and two and then three. There we go. And we've got a bit of scrap and some wood as well. Not that we need the wood. It's these fronds that we need. There we go. And these nets are just doing nothing now. For some reason, everything's going to the left or the right or where we haven't got something like here, which is slightly annoying, but I'm sure we can put up with it. Uh, we'll have to, won't we? We'll have to create a, oh, we'll create two more nets and we'll put one there and one... Uh, oh, I did create another one. There it is. They don't stack, apparently. One there. Okay, so anything that comes in here will be sorted. That tree is, I'm guessing, almost up top. Let's have a cooked potato. We'll actually... Oh, look at that. I imagine that potato would be quite hot. <laughs> I've never held on to a baked potato for that long if it's like if it's just come out of the... Uh, well, not the oven, but that there. Oh, God, I didn't really mean to do that with uh, the shark over there. These are all empty, which is a shame. Uh, that's growing. We will just get them some water again, drink that. You can see now we're totally fine for health and for food and water. We've got that pretty much sorted. That is, I'm guessing now, fully grown, but I don't know. But I do need an axe, so we will not craft an axe because I haven't got them. There's our nets, item nets picking all that up, which is good. We will create a bit more rope. We will create, we won't create an axe. Yes, we will create an axe. There we are. And I will put a mackerel on the barbie. Don't need to do anything with this water. Oh, you know what? Might as well drink it. Like I say, you, you get an unlimited amount of goes at that, so there's no problem. Let me just pick up this. Damn it, damn it. I missed out. There's a couple of fronds in there. Uh, we'll get them too. And are we going to get this other one? Launch it. Here we go. Oh, that was close, but we got it. Right. Good, good, good. More items here. Okay, so that's fully grown. I I would assume perhaps it doesn't say about harvesting. Ooh, so I heard a clunk 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 noise, and there's that. Um, I would assume that's fully grown. Huh. A coconut. Right. Right. So we can pick the coconuts up, which is good. Oh, we need to get this first. of items. We'll do the same here. And there we are. Probably getting quite full now. Uh, we'll keep chopping here. Nope, nope, we're flinging a net instead. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't work. You just stick it into the side. Oh, that doesn't work either. No, it does not. Right. Axe. More coconuts. They do roll off as well, which is interesting. I'm guessing now I can just chop it down. Yeah, and I got some planks. There you are. Cool. Right. Pick up. That's very difficult to pick these up sometimes because of where they are in the net. That's a shark. Get off. Get off. Thank you. You know what? I would probably share my food with it if it was not such a dick. And just go away. There's, there's my potato. I've got potatoes now. I've got... See, I, I could just fling a tatey in for it. I've got a coconut, which contains coconut milk. How does one even eat that? Oh, you just drink it. Okay, you just om nom 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 nom. I just eat four co... Right. I'm sure... I'm fairly confident that... Um, uh, the, that, that sort of stuff is a bit of a diuretic. So I reckon we would... Um, probably... Be uh, going to the toilet... For quite some time now, after eating four coconuts and having all the milk and stuff, because it's, uh, yeah, gives you a bit of a runny, runny bum. Let's just create loads of rope. We will create another one of these dragnets. And you know what? I think we're getting to a point now where we can do pretty much what we want. Foundations. There you go. We can start building up. Let's collect all of these. There you are. Hang on. Empty net. It's not empty. I can clearly see it. Oh, there we go. It's in this net, not that net. Right. So what we want to do is... There's more stuff getting collected. These are really useful. So... The more useful, the further you go as well. Because you've got walls, you've got floors. I mean, we do really want some start to wall things off because we can really. I mean, we'd have... We should really have an upstairs piece, shouldn't we? 
like that. And we'll put it, and we'll rotate it round, perhaps. Um, how far does that go, though? I don't know how far that goes, but I mean, we'll put that there. And, oh, right, look at that. It goes fairly high up, doesn't it? <laughs> we'll probably want a, a, a floor placed on the top of pillars. So we'll need a pillar. And the pillar will have to go here. Right, I'm guessing, I'm hoping, in fact, that we can probably build... Floor there. We, why can't we build a floor there? That's weird. It doesn't allow us to build that, and I don't know why. It might be because of the things around it. We might have too many things around there, but I'm not too sure. Let me just uh, do a bit of a test. So this one. Pillar. There's a barrel. That's good. Put a, we'll put one of these in the corner like that, right? And then we'll go for a floor placed on the top of pillars. Oh, yeah, there you go. You can place it there. And that one won't go there for some reason. That's strange. I don't know why. Hmm. Look at that. It also won't really build further in. That is weird. It won't allow me to build here. I think it's because of the like the hitbox. Oh, because this isn't centered. This thing is not centered. Right. So if I remove I bet you if I remove this, we'll um, probably be able to build. Hang on. And this is just a test, obviously. Um, and then we should be able to Yeah, there you go. That's what it was. Like that. That's all it was. Although it's still not allowing me to build over there, which is very, very strange. I don't know. I don't know why it won't allow me to build in this section. Alpha game is alpha. Anyway, we are going to leave it there. That is a little bit of raft. I don't know why, but uh, I actually quite enjoy messing around with it. I think it's a combination of um, being able to build something. Um, don't have to run around and do, like, you know, 30 runs to uh, a mine to collect loads of resources. Most of them are quite here, so you can actually build up something quite quickly. The survival elements are... Uh, well, obviously not balanced at all because you can pretty much survive indefinitely without any great effort whatsoever. But, as a sort of proof of concept, as an idea, it is there, I think. Obviously, it would be nice to get things like weather and changing tides and different uh, threats and stuff. Oh my god, I've actually killed the shark. I've actually killed it. I feel really bad now. Huh, it's passed. It was being attacked. Of... Oh, God. It smells blood. I think we'll leave it there. Anyway, that's been a bit of raft. <laughs> like I said, it's not too bad. Good proof of concept. Link's in the description so you can check it out yourself because it is free. As always, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.